August 3rd, 2023, I arrived to Avis Budget on Seagan Lane, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, to pick up a vehicle that I reserved in July. In June. In June. June or July. I don't remember the reservation date, however, I remember that I reserved and paid for the vehicle a month or two in advance. Um, got to the location on Segan Lane. I arrived early. The vehicle wasn't ready. That wasn't a problem. So I left and came back 15 minutes after the time that I was supposed to pick up the vehicle. Okay. Still no bit well. The wrong vehicle was there. I was supposed to rent a mid-sized truck. The gentleman tells me, hey, there's no such thing as a mid-sized truck. If we want to look, go, okay, yeah, there's no such thing as a mid-sized truck. We got this full-size truck for you. Well, I drive a Ford Explorer. He didn't want a full-size vehicle. So I was like, okay. He called the location on Airline Highway. They didn't have any vehicles. There were two other locations in Baton Rouge. He called neither one of those locations. So I go out to my car. I call the 1-800 number for Avis, Avis Budget. They say, hey, we have a location. We have a vehicle located at the airport. Go there, explain what's going on and they'll be more than happy to get you the vehicle. I drive to the airport to pick up the vehicle. They run my credit card, get my ID, run my information, give me the keys to the vehicle, give me the contract. I should be on my way. It's not what happened. I walk out to the vehicle. I do a visual inspection of the vehicle. The vehicle is in horrible shape. Pictures will be attached. So I come in, I, I I walk back in, I let the agent, the desk agent know, hey, this vehicle has scratches and bruises all over it. I don't want to be held responsible for it. So I need something stating that, hey, this is the condition that he's leaving here with this vehicle in. The lady, Miss Vicky, tells me, hey, that's not a problem. I'll note it in the system. But me, myself, I still wanted a piece of paper that showed where the vehicle damage was. Because I don't know what you're noting, notating in the system. So I come out, the young gentleman out there at, at the kiosk, at the outside kiosk in the airport, like well it's just scratches but you know it's nothing to worry about it's just scratches no I need this documented because I don't want to be held responsible for damaging Avis's vehicle I can't I can't afford to pay for something that I didn't do so fine I get the paperwork I get the little slip that shows that the vehicle is, has previous damage I'm on my way. So I thought. Driving the vehicle, it starts to jerk when I got on the interstate. I call Avis Budget. Yo, something's wrong with this car. It's jerking. As if the transmission is going out. So they first say they would get the vehicle towed back to the location. I go where I was going and wait on the tow truck. Waited two hours, three hours. Nothing. No tow truck. So I call the locate I call Avis one eight hundred number back. Look, I'm sure the vehicle will make it back to the airport. I'm just gonna bring it back to the airport. By this time it's around five o'clock. So I come back to the airport, they had no more medium-sized trucks, which wasn't a problem. The young lady at the desk say, hey, I can put you in a full-size car. Um, 
but you'll still have to pay the price of the truck I'm that's not going to happen that's it's not my problem your vehicle is faulty and you don't have any more reliable vehicles available for me so I was like no I said no that's not that's not accommodating to me what else can you do so she the little young lady says hey I have a minivan and I was like okay I I have a minivan I say that's fine minivan is fine so they put me in a Chrysler Pacifica the vehicle was dirty it smelled bad on the house on the inside I called Ava's budget you let them know look this vehicle is dirty and it smells bad I'm just gonna have the view I'm just going to clean the vehicle to the best of my ability and spray the inside so that the mildew smell goes away did that that brings me back to Friday that brings me to Friday mind you my vehicle is parked at the airport my 2016 Ford Explorer one moment let me change location 